Everybody knows that Germany is second to none when it comes to engineering excellence. From a $35 billion high-tech factory to an 18-kilometer tunnel beneath the sea, and from advanced railway lines to massive airport terminals making transportation easier than ever, Germany engineers many complex projects. Today, we look at six of the most impressive and expensive mega-projects in Germany. But before we start, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more fascinating mega projects around the world. Frankfurt Airport Terminal 3, with a cost of $4.3 billion, is at number six of our list. Frankfurt Airport is the busiest in Germany, reaching 70 million passengers in 2019. To handle this large number of travelers and to stay competitive with other European airports, Frankfurt is building a brand new terminal. This new terminal will have three piers, G, H and J, which will collectively increase the airport's capacity by 19 million passengers annually. There's also a plan for a fourth pier, K, which will be built if future passenger numbers justify it. Two piers are currently still under construction, while Pier G is already finished. Under normal circumstances, Pier G would already be open to the public, but due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the annual passenger count dropped by 73% and the airport is still recovering. As a result, it's not profitable to open the new pier just yet. Instead, the plan is to complete the remaining construction and open Terminal 3 as a whole in 2026. At number five, we have the Fehrmann Belt Tunnel. Fehrmann Island, situated in the Baltic Sea, is a crucial link between Germany and Denmark, forming a nearly straight route from Hamburg to Copenhagen. Currently, crossing the sea between these two countries requires a ferry. To eliminate this bottleneck, the Fehrmann Belt project is under construction, featuring two tunnels. The first tunnel will connect Germany to Fehrmann, replacing an old bridge that can no longer handle increased traffic. The tunnel will accommodate the heavier traffic, while the bridge will be reserved for pedestrians and cyclists. The second tunnel will link Fehrmann to Lowland, Denmark, replacing the hour-long ferry ride and easing the traffic bottleneck. This tunnel will span 18 kilometers, making it the longest combined road and rail tunnel in the world. It will also introduce a new railway route, significantly enhancing the railway infrastructure in the region and providing a more direct connection between Germany and Denmark. Due to its massive scale, the project is set to be completed by 2029 at a total cost of $8.3 billion, shared between the two countries. However, this cost pales in comparison to the most expensive project in this video. Next, we have Berlin-Brandenburg Airport at number four. This $7.5 billion project is now the sole commercial airport serving Berlin and the surrounding Brandenburg area. Although it has only been open for three years, the project has a lengthy history. After the fall of the Berlin Wall, Berlin was served by three separate airports, which were all becoming increasingly congested. The idea was to build a single mega airport to replace them. However, legal complications delayed the project for over 15 years before it could finally move forward. The construction initially was expected to take five years and cost $2 billion. However, the costs were severely underestimated, leading to significant financial problems and a nine-year delay. The price tag skyrocketed as a result. Just before its planned opening in October 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic struck further complicating matters and adding to the costs due to the lack of passengers. Despite these challenges, Berlin-Brandenburg Airport began operating under normal conditions in 2022, serving around 20 million passengers. This number is expected to rise even further in the coming years. Now let's move on to number three, the Stuttgart 21 railway expansion. It's a project with a hefty $10.4 billion price tag and has sparked significant disagreements and dissension. Stuttgart has long been an important transportation hub in Germany as it links various railway lines. However, the region's old infrastructure was becoming increasingly inefficient and outdated. To address this, the Stuttgart 21 project was launched. The plan involved moving the train station underground and rotating it 90 degrees, transforming it from a terminal 
to a through station. This change significantly improves connections to other cities. One of the standout features of the new station is its roof, which has a unique design with shell-like pillars and glass domes that allow daylight to flood the interiors. The project was challenging and expensive due to these innovative designs and the need to preserve parts of the old building by putting it on stilts. Nearly 60 kilometers of new tunnels were dug as part of the construction. Once completed, Stuttgart 21 will greatly reduce travel times in the region, making it a major upgrade despite the challenges. From an engineering standpoint, the project is a marvel, but it has faced a slew of issues and strong public opposition due to costs spiralling to more than three times the initial estimates. Tensions reached a peak in 2009 when police actions during a protest led to severe injuries. Despite these protests, a referendum in 2011 showed that nearly 60% of voters supported continuing the construction, which is now expected to finish in 2025. Next up is number two, Tesla's Berlin-Brandenburg Gigafactory, costing $5.5 billion. As Tesla's market expanded to Europe, the company realized it needed a local production facility to meet demand more efficiently. Importing products from other continents wasn't cutting it. To solve this, Tesla decided to build a Gigafactory in Europe, where it would produce batteries, powertrains, and the Tesla Model Y. When Tesla announced this expansion, many European countries competed to host the factory, hoping for a significant economic boost. Ultimately, a site near Berlin, Germany was chosen due to its strategic location in Europe and its proximity to Berlin-Brandenburg Airport. The factory's construction faced lengthy administrative delays, forcing Tesla's CEO, Elon Musk, to criticize Germany's complicated planning requirements in a letter to authorities. Despite these challenges, the factory opened in 2022 after just three years of construction. Currently, the Gigafactory employs over 10,000 people and is gradually increasing its production. As the only Tesla facility of this scale in Europe, it aims to produce up to 750,000 vehicles annually. Topping our list is the Intel Gigafactory, a staggering $35 billion project set to be the most expensive mega project in Germany, costing more than three times as much as Stuttgart 21. This semiconductor factory is slated for construction in Magdeburg to take on heavyweights like Samsung and Nvidia. Through its new IDM 2.0 strategy, Intel isn't just beefing up its production, but also plans to make chips for other companies. Intel is planning to broaden its supply chain globally to make this a reality, prompting an investment of about $85.8 billion in Europe. This includes setting up additional factories in France and Poland, with a particularly important one in Germany. This German gigafactory is expected to bring tens of thousands of jobs to the area and significantly boost the country's microchip production capabilities. Construction was supposed to begin early in 2023 and wrap up by 2027. However, those plans are now on shaky ground due to financial difficulties increased by the rising costs of energy and materials. Well, there you have it, the top mega projects of Germany. So what are your thoughts? Which of these projects impresses you the most? And are there any that you think should not go ahead? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for more videos on World Mega Builds. See you in the next video.